Hey, this is Mike. So, I had to shoot this little video because I'm testing an amplifier that has a really unbelievable behavior. Um, uh, let me show you real quick, just so that there's no nothing's uh, up my sleeve. This is uh, acoustic imagery uh, ATSA NC amplifier. It's based on the Hypex NC 1200 modules. Um, you can see a power cord just straight into the wall, nothing fancy. This input cable, follow it up, goes out of my D-scope audio analyzer. The speaker cable, same thing, you follow it up, goes into my load bank, and the cable out of that, you follow it around, and it too goes into the analyzer. So nothing, no smoke and mirrors, Nothing weird. So this is the D-Scope software. Um, right now, the amplifier is putting out one watt of power. And we can see where the mouse is. Um, this is an FFT plot, so the zero point is, zero dB is, is right a little over two volts. 2.83 volts into eight ohms, so there's that. There's the harmonics, second harmonic, third, fourth. They're all way under 100 dB. Um, if you look over here, you can see it's got 27.83 decibels of gain, which is exactly as expected. Power output 99661 watts, 0 0.01% distortion plus noise. And you can see, and this is the interesting bit, you can see here that this is the actual voltage 2.8229, so which is 2.83 for all intents and purposes. Now, I shut the signal generator off. Go down here. The amplitude, the, vo the voltage on the left channel, which is the one with the amplifier hooked up, is 0.3 microvolts. Go down here. That shows a gain of a hundred minus 160 dB, which from the 20. 7 it was at is you know 180 dB and that is uh, more than slightly unreal um, you can see the FFT plot for that channel has completely disappeared from the screen uh, the one below it this is actually the other channel and I have a shorting plug in it and it's basically the noise floor of the analyzer at around 150 dB down which is pretty darn quiet um, but on this, if I actually I can show where its noise floor now sits, and you can see this is the minus 200 dB mark. This is the minus 160, which is actually the the low frequency noise. The upper stuff is at minus 200. All I can and uh, let's give it a few more FFT buffers so that actually might get rid of some of the low frequency noise and make the trace even lower but it's a lot slower to update either way it is um, almost impossible I don't know how it does it but I have tested four of these they all do it um, it is entirely repeatable I don't completely get it uh, all I can think of is somehow the feedback is creating a negative impedance or something in the amplifier but uh, I mean, it has a ultra low output impedance anyway, but uh, hard to be lower than a dead short, which is what I have on channel B, which is at around, like I said, about minus 150 or so on the uh, absolute scale. And this is, you know, hanging in there around 190 or 200 down, which is uh, highly unusual to say the least. I don't know, maybe the. Uh, the guys at Hypex can explain it because I sure can't. But in any case, quiet is uh, the word of the day for these amplifiers. Actually, they measure spectacularly well in all regards. So, anyway, hope somebody finds this interesting.